content over everything. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, I want to say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahdahu la sharika lah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. First of all, I wanted to say to the, all the people that's first of all not Muslim, and uh, to, uh, ha and to the Muslim happy Eid, you know, and to the non-Muslims, uh, yeah, happy Eid as well. And I just wanted to say that I do not blame a lot of uh, non-Muslims for you know for having you know like fear of certain individuals. You understand? Certain, of, of the religion of Islam at this time, at this present day, because. What's happened is there's a lot of people who have come and given a bad image to Islam. Do you understand? They have made Islam into a savage beast religion when in fact it is the civilized religion. It's, it is the religion that saved little girls from being buried alive. It is the religion of Moses, Jesus, Abraham, Adam, all of the prophets. You know, this is their religion. But unfortunately, what happened this Abrahamic religion, Islam, the religion of peace and love. And even in Islam, there's no chopping hands. Because when someone steals, for example, I'm just giving you an example, there's, that's all wrong. The fuqaha, the imams, the 12 disciples of the Prophet Muhammad said, this, this, it's not the hands, it's the top of the fingertips. And that's in certain situations, circum certain, cir certain circumstances. Like for example, Saudi Arabia, they steal billions of the Ummah's money. They spend it in like for a painting for half a billion, the Saudi prince, prince may Allah curse him. And they spend it here in brothels and alcohol and one million pound al alcohol. And they steal all the billions of Ummah's money. They buy weapons to kill Muslims in Yemen, for example. Yemen right now, one million children dying. Do not forget this. And anyone who's silent about this, I have to repeat this. Anyone who's silent about this in the day of judgment, they will be judged by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And hasbi Allah wa na'mal wakil, that's what we say about the oppressors. One million children, the poorest Arab country, Yemen, is now being destroyed with the chemical weapons that are banned illegal in the world. But Saudi buys them from people and drops it on these kids in Yemen. They do not kill the Houthis who are fighting against the Saudi rulers because they do not want to be servants to Saudi. They want to be free people. They're not killing the Houthis, these, these, these soldiers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these freedom fighters who are fighting for their freedom. They are killing innocent children. Look at the one million, the biggest humanity in crisis. Even non-Muslims, like the actor who plays as Incredible Hulk, I don't know what his name is, as a, I don't know, he's Latino or something. He even said on his, he even talking out, he's saying, look, people are dying, you don't have to tell the US to stop arming the Saudi, for example. I'm just giving you an example. At the end of the day, these one million children that's dying now in Yemen, the poorest Arab country, is why Saudi money, you understand? For what I was trying to say is, so Saudi steals all this money, but when, for example, a, per, a poor person in Saudi steals an apple or something, they chop his hand off. For example, because they do not have, they do not have the right teachings of Islam. They do not have someone who interprets the Quran because they left the Holy Prophet's family. And when, they, and when you try and speak the truth, they try and blow you up or kill you. As you can see, there was just, I'm not, I'm not trying to say, everywhere in the world, anyone who speaks the truth, they will be killed because the truth is on the side of the oppressed. Do you understand? At the end of the day, what I was trying to say, yeah, last week I, I might have came a bit like, I was a bit, it was fasting, I was hot, you know, I'll come a bit hyper on that. But what I was trying to say, all of you are my Muslim brothers, or if you're not Muslim, you're my brother in humanity. I love you all, all as brothers, do you understand? At the end of the day, I'm on the side of the oppressed, I'm on the side of the truth, do you understand? What happened with the brother Ahmed Ali? Even Ahmed Ali, the guy I was debating last week, he got punched up la a month ago outside Speaker's Corner by his own people, bro. They banged him up, yeah? You can check it on YouTube and everything, yeah? So all I'm saying is man didn't come like that. I didn't punch him no. I just talked to the brother, but I was a bit shouting because I'm upset because these people are giving a bad image to Islam. These people are brainwashing other new converts. These people are brainwashing people that do not know much about Islam. And they just come and give them, oh, this, 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 that. Do you understand? At the end of the day, the brother, he was saying, oh, you lot worship other than Allah. Who worships other than Allah? We worship Allah alone. We are the true people that do Tawheed. One God, you understand? But when you ask some, for example, he's saying, if you ask someone for help, that means you're worshiping them. That's not true. Because what is shirk? What is paganism? Paganism and shirk is worshiping other than Allah or putting a God to worship other than Allah. So he's saying, he's a God also. This is shirk, of course. No one has done that. No one has ever done that from the people that they're accusing. Like for example, the Muslims that call themselves Shia, they don't do that. They say Allah is one, they worship only Allah. 
But they're saying, because you asked the Prophet Muhammad for something, that means you've worshipped him. That's not true. This is a big lie and this is not his fault. This is not Ahmed Ali's fault, for example. This guy, I feel sorry for him. I like the brother. He's a nice, soft brother who's trying to... He, people look at him and think, oh, this guy is he's a nutcase. No, he's, he doesn't know. He's being brainwashed by these Saudi and Takfiri and these uh, savage beasts. Who These savage beasts, they, they're the most savage people ever. And you know what they did to the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu They gave him hell on earth. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, who is the cousin of Jesus, has said, no prophet has been hurt like I've been hurt. No prophet. So imagine Zach uh, Zachariah, the son of Yahya, his head got chopped off. The Prophet said, I've been hurt more than him. Because if your head gets chopped off, that's temporary pain. Ten seconds is gone. The Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu had more, and, and, and the spiritual, emotional pain is more than the physical pain. Do you understand? So the Prophet had the most pain because he had the most Iman. The, Imam al-Sadiq, the greatest uh, scholar of the Muslims, he was the great grandson of the Prophet Muhammad. He says, the more Iman you get, the more problems you get. The believer is like a scale of a balance. So the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he had the most Iman ever. That's why he's the greatest, because his level of Iman, belief in God, was the highest. Do you understand? So, he, so and there's so many, uh, he's got so many miracles, like the Holy Prophet Muhammad, not just the Quran is his miracle. He had about a hundred other miracles. Like the wolf spoke and up to the in the in the in the Bedouin area and said, "There's a prophet that has been sent to Mecca." The sheep spoke when he was about to eat it. The, Jew, the Jewish woman put poison in and, and 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 he was about to eat and it got up and spoke. He has so many miracles. He went to the sky on the Barak that he's had the human head and, and and a horse body. He's got so many miracles. So the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he Allah has lifted him. So this great prophet, who Allah has said he has the greatest manners, the best manners ever. These savage beasts who've come, what did they do? They said, oh, you've sent as a prophet and Allah has now said to you to put your cousin Ali as an imam after. No, you can't have everything. We want it. We, we're the pagan Arab tribes. We want it as well. So what they've did, they've made wars against Imam Ali who's chosen by Allah. It's not the prophet's choice. It's Allah's choice. And then they destroyed Islam. They destroyed the Sunnah. And then now you've got this savage beast Islam today where everyone is scared of Muslims. You go on the street, People are scared of Muslims. You go in the street, shout Allahu Akbar, everyone runs. Yesterday, one guy said Allahu Akbar, I was gonna run, bruv, outside McDonald's. I was gonna leg it, bruv. Imagine, so they destroyed it. Why? Because they follow these people that have gone against the Ahlul Bayt, the Prophet's family. The Prophet Muhammad said, my Ahlul Bayt is like the Ark of Noah. Whoever gets on it will be saved. Whoever leaves it will be drowned. And look at the confusion today in the Ummah. Assalamu alaikum, this is my, the Sheikh Haji Muslim. Okay. But I don't know English, I can't speak Arabic or not? No, no, I'm not Arabic. But if you say good things, he's studied in Egypt. He has got a lot of books. And we are all targeted to be killed. Why? Because we're on the path of the Prophet Muhammad. If you're on the path of the Prophet Muhammad and his family, you're going to be killed or you're going to be attacked. The Prophet said, the ones that love Ali, get ready for hatred. Get ready to be attacked. Because all of Imam Ali's companions, a lot of them were chopped up, poisoned, and you understand? So the Prophet, what is the Sheikh saying? He's saying the Prophet has, before he died, he said so many times, and during his life, I tell you to follow my Ahl bayt to follow my family. Just one thing. He's, he's brought a verse from the Quran. I asked, because when the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was about to die, uh, the, the Muhajirin and Ansar came to him. They said, oh Prophet, you've brought us Islam. So how can we repay you? We want to give you money, houses. What can we give you? And the, the Prophet said, the Prophet, this is a verse in the Quran. Allah said to the Prophet, answer them by th saying this. I do not ask any reward from you except to love and follow my family. Uh, and then they said, whose family? Your family or our family? He said, no, my family. So if you put Islam on a scale, and they, they said, what can we give to... This is the love of Ahl al-Bayt. This is a verse in the Quran. And Muwadda is more than love. It's love and follow. He's, the brother saying the Muslims should be together as love. But obviously, He's saying, he's saying, why are these people coming, ignorant people coming and making takfir? He goes, just now there was a beef now. The truth, there was a beef just now. Someone got, someone got touched just now. Someone got one touch just now and the police came everything. So he's just saying, we shouldn't be like that. We should be, Allah has sent the Prophet 
to, to make people's manners good. The Prophet says, I have come to perfect people's manners. Prophet Muhammad who is the cousin of Jesus, I have to repeat this. He's not anyone. He's the bloodline of Abraham. Uh, yeah. He's saying the Prophet Muhammad's message was, was, was sent and, and, and everyone became Muslim. Why? Because of his manners, his good manners. So, so, you, so you shouldn't come up to people, you lot, and then just say, oh, you're kafir, you're kafir. What is this? You're accusing us of false accusations. Kafir, and then mayshalli, mayshalli. The, we pray five times a day, we go to Hajj, we fast Ramadan, we give zakat, we do everything. Why do you have to come? You kafir, you kafir. He said you should respect, you should respect. Because, because, because if you keep on fighting and being rude and being savage and being a beast, how is the English man or the black man or the other man going to become Muslim if he sees you are a beast? How? He said, he's, yeah, he's saying, look at all the Muslim countries now. It's all, who's, who's benefiting from these Muslims killing each other? For example, for these tech freeze killing Muslims. The only people in Sahayna. He's saying the evil forces are benefiting because they want to do divide and conquer. So they bring this. Yeah, they want to sell weapons to these takfiris. This is, he's, saying, he's saying now it's Eid, 2018. Muslims should respect Muslim. We should be, we should be respect. But we 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 do we just, you know. لأنه النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم قال بعفت لأتم مكارم الأخلاق. وقلنا إيه إيه لأن الأخلاق كانت موجودة في البلاد العربية ولكن جاء النبي ليزيدها ويكملها. So the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم he had the greatest manners like you won't believe how amazing his manners were. The smile wouldn't leave his face. He was if you came and spoke to him, he would not leave until you left. His manners were so great and he was so truthful, everyone became Muslim. So why don't you try, if you say you're Sunnah, why don't you follow the Prophet? Why are you following <laughs> that? He says, if you have good manners, everyone will become Muslim. Because you, they're going to see you. They don't, they don't want you talking here. Yeah, brother, 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 brother. They don't, what's that going to do? They want to see your action. They want to see your action. He's saying just now there was a bee for rockers here. Someone got touched here. He's saying that's not good for us as Muslims. And do you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, my brother, we're all brothers in humanity. Imam Ali says if he's not your brother in faith, he's your brother in humanity. At the end of the day, we as people worship the Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's saying that the religion of Islam is a full, it's like a, it's, it's a law, it's like a, the, 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 the life will move with like, this is the way to live, this is the best way to live your life. They said the Prophet Muhammad and the Ahl al-Bayt and the Sahaba, they used to have respect with each other. So where is the respect? Where is, why is it savagism? Respect. So then he's saying our children in this country, so they can start showing respect. We, got, we have to be role models. Yeah. So yeah, even he's talking about women, they should respect their husbands and all these things, you know, and then the husband respect the woman. So the, 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 the daughter can see a role model and become good. Obviously this is like, yeah. So basically he's just saying, you know, have the best manners. Can, can someone have the best manners? Like, can you train yourself to have the best manners? Can you As living in London, you usually have to show the best side, the best manners, the best. You can't show the true Islam, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was just, if you read about the Muslims, yeah. but unfortunately, there's people who have come and he, he goes, he would, yeah, he would stay hungry and let the poor eat, all these kind of things. But what I'm trying to say, there's a lot of people that have come and spread lies, have made the Prophet to be about, like, given a bad image to him. So these people have bring bad hadiths. Allah says, I have sent you just a mercy to mankind, to the whole world, to the mankind, not just to Muslims. The the prophet. Prophet. These people come in here, you kafir, you kafir, you kafir. They destroyed Allah, Allah, Allah is the one who knows who's a believer and who's not. These people, they themselves that are saying you are kafir, they worship men. They worship a man with hands. And they say he's not like our hands, he's not like the monster's hands. It's another type of hands. So this could be a new creation. It's a new kind of hands. Not, 
Do you see what I'm saying? So they're worshipping something that we haven't seen. It's not like yours. It's a different kind of band. They're worshipping some, I don't know. And then they're saying, oh, we do, to, we're, and they're saying, yeah, we're the true Islam. What Islam? If you, if you, you're, yeah, they, they say, they, one of their sheikhs say, God comes like a Turkish boy without a beard. Come on, man, this is the biggest paganism. So how are you coming around here saying, yeah, uh, and then you, you're worshipping a boy? Come on, man. And the, re the real Tawheed. And Nabi Sorry. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he came to the Prophet, who killed Sayyidina Al-Hamza alayhi salam, he said to the Prophet, I swear to Allah, I swear to Allah, I swear to Allah, I swear to Allah, قال تركتك لظاهر اسلامك يعني عفى okay. عنا هي سين وين ذا هولي بروفيت محمد از انكل حمزه ذا لاين اوف اسلام واز كيلد ان ذا باتل باي باي وحشي هو واز سنت باي هند ذا بروبلم از مسلمز ذي لاف هند هند ايت ذا ليفر اوف حمزه ذي ساي شي از اور مذر وي لاف هير شي اند ذن وين ذا جاي ذا كيلد حمزه كيم تو ذا بروفيت اند سيد اند سيد لوك اي بيكم مسلم ذا بروفيت سيد اي ليف يو Even though you killed my uncle, I leave you because you said I shadow on la ilaha illallah. You understand? For the sake of Islam. But what I'm trying to say is that these people, takfiris, they love the enemies of the Prophet. They love him, the liver eater. They, they worship her because they say she destroyed the Prophet for 30 years and we love her because, you know, some... I don't know why they love her. And then the people that defended the Prophet for 30 years, the people that were believers, the people that gave their life to the Prophet, they say, no, these people are kafir, we don't like them. They're twisted logic, they're twisted because they're following the evil forces. It's good versus evil in life. It doesn't matter what religion or what sect or whatever you are. If you're a good person, you'll be on the side of Jesus and Imam al-Mahdi. And if you're an evil person, it doesn't matter if you call yourself Shia, Sunni, Wahhabi, Takfiri, Jewish, Muslim. If you're an evil person, you will be on the side of the Sufyani and the, and the, the Antichrist, the Dajjal, the one eye. It's good versus evil. Don't try and put it, oh, I'm Shia and all these names. No, we don't know what's in people's heart. Because you know what the Imam says? He goes, at the end of the times, the, 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 a lot of people that are believers will become pag pagans, and a lot of people that are pagans will become believers. Ma so we. No, no, he's saying, he's saying, obviously, it's all, it's, all, it's all peace and love, but what, I'm trying, what we're trying to say is look, I'm going to summarize this for you. Listen very carefully. Listen and pay attention to what I'm going to say, and keep this, write this down, stick it on your wall. Just remember this. Look, Abraham. This is the right side. Abraham versus Nimrod. Moses versus Pharaoh. Prophet Muhammad versus Abu Sufyan. Remember, this is the evil side, this is the good side. Uh, Imam Ali versus Muawiyah. Imam Hussein versus Yazid. And then now what's going to happen is Imam Al-Mahdi will fight the Sufyani. Who is the Sufyani? The descendant of the liver eater, Hind. It's good versus evil and Jesus will come with Imam al-Mahdi to fight, to fight the Antichrist. Then the Antichrist versus Jesus. It's a line of good versus evil. Whose side are you on? Open your mind. Don't be... It was in the end of times now. SubhanAllah, all the signs are happening. All the signs are happening. Syria, Mosul. What's going to happen in everywhere in the world? It's all kicking off. Uh, well, Jesus is coming back. We're Muslims. We're getting ready for Imam Mahdi. Jesus will tell Imam al-Mahdi, Oh, son of Fatima, you lead the prayer. الإمام النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم يقول لا تنظر إلى كثرة الصوم والصلاة ولكن انظر إلى صدق الحديث وإداء الأمانة. إمام الصاد إمام علي said do not look at how much he prays and fasts do not look at this to see if he's a good person however look at how truthful he is test them test them on how truthful they are and how trustworthy they are and how they deal with money and women. Test them on these things. Don't test them on how many times he goes to Hajj. Imam Ali said this. Don't test them on how many times he fasts. Don't test them on how much times he prays. Because anyone can be just used to it. Do you understand? You do not know. So there's, 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 Allah mentions the believer. Who's, there's a lot of hypocrisy. There's a lot of pagans becoming, showing themselves as Muslims. We're in the end of times. I've just told you what I just told you now. Write that down. It's going to kick off. It's going to be, all the signs are happening. He's saying, he's, saying, he's saying you have to be 100% honest. You can't do cheating. Allah will, you know, in the time of Jesus, Jesus, he raised the dead because Jesus used to be able to raise the dead. Imam Ali narrates this. So one time Jesus said, let me raise this man and ask him a few questions. He raised him from the dead. He said, What's, what happened to you? He said, when I died, I've been getting tortured. And then Jesus said, why? He goes, I just broke, you know, someone had wood and I took a bit of his wood but without asking him and I cleaned my teeth with it. Just for that wood I took from him without his permission, I'm being tortured for that. 
بالاخلاق الاسلام انتشر في افريقيا you understand you have to be very careful on what you do he's saying islam spread through the good manners through the dealings through the not through this this disgusting ugly manners you come with the ugly be honest be honest why you why is there so much people lying and then they're saying they're muslim be honest be have mercy in your heart you have to be 100 percent honest the prophet was known for his trustworthy do you understand? At the end of the day, Jesus even he spoke to Mary, his mom. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he came to the Medina, he was afraid of all the people who came to the Medina. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that at the end of the day, we all need, I'm talking about myself, I'm talking about we need to show a good image to the world. The world is watching you, cameras are watching you everywhere. If you're going to be like blah, 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 how is people going to accept Islam? How? We are in a time we get Yemen. One million children are dying. No food because of Saudi. Bombs have been dropped on them because of Saudi. Why? Because Yemen doesn't want to be slave to Saudi scum. That's the biggest. I don't want to say where they're originally from. People know. I don't want to say. You know, the one that's clever knows who they're from, where they're originally from. They came, they destroyed Yemen now, one million now, dying. Where is the Muslim saying, oh, humanitarian crisis in Yemen? When the Prophet said the Iman is in Yemen. People of Yemen, look after the people of Yemen. Look what these, these disgusting, trash, scum, Ali Saud, Saud family and their allies, the UAE and all these countries, the United Arab Emirates, they're scum, they're bombing these innocent children in Yemen. Subhanallah, what are you going to say to Allah on the Day of Judgment? And then you come here, you say, yeah, the Prophet said this, the Prophet said that. The Prophet said, stand with the oppressed against the oppressor. I'm just upset good, because good, Yemen is dying. Good. I need to do something. We're all doing something. Yemen has said you move to Ya Britannia. I'm going to go Yemen, Haji. Good. What's your name? We're going to go to the Muslims. He said, why are you killing them? They're Muslim. They're not even Shia. They're even, I think they're Sunni. All Sunni. And you're killing them. Ali Saud, you're disgusting. Allah curse you and curse all your family in the graves. Allah has cursed Jibra'il's curse. All of the angels curse you and your family and all your allies. You destroyed the whole country. Now look at Yemen, no water, no food. People are dying, kids are dying. Watch it. Only the Christians are talking about it. Only the non-Muslims are saying, please help Yemen. Because they have humanitarian in their heart. That's why Allah will save these non-Muslims and put them in Jannah. And these pagan people that claim to be Muslim, who, who savage monkey beasts, Allah will put them in hell. Because they do not have Rahmah in their heart. They don't have Rahmah. How can they go to Jannah if they don't have Rahmah? Subhanallah. The people of Yemen is dying now. By, the, by Imam Sadiq, the seventh grandson of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, he said, the person who will, who will rise from Sana'a, Sana'a is in Yemen, this person will, will make Islam strong. This person will be the successor of Jesus and Imam al-Mahdi. He's from Sana'a. Because they know this, that's why they're bombing Yemen with all the bombs they can do right now because they want to destroy this man, the Yamani. His name is the Yamani. Remember this name. He will rise from Sana'a. He will destroy the pagans. He will destroy all these fake Muslims, scums. And he will make Jesus and Imam Mahdi, the flag of Jesus and Imam Mahdi will come to the top. And Islam will be the true Islam. Not this fake pagan Islam that worship a man with no beard, a man with funny hands. This Hindu Islam, Wahhabi Salafi, no. They will worship the real Islam of the Prophet Muhammad and his grandparents, Ibrahim and Moses and Jesus. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. And, and Allah make the victorious Jesus and Imam al-Mahdi and all the followers of Ahl al-Bayt and destroy all the enemies. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Muhammad wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu an Muhammad Rasulullah Allahumma help the people of Yemen who are dying now right now from Saudi and the UAE scum UAE this disgusting filthy scum they just bombing the innocent people now may Allah destroy the UAE and the Saudi and all their allies and make the, the truth may Allah make the truth victorious may Allah make the oppressed victorious may Allah make the people of Yemen victorious Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad you can try and chop our heads, you can blow us up, but you will never kill our Iman. You can never st stop us from believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the true Tawheed of the Prophet Muhammad and of the Ahl al-Bayt. Because you cannot kill our belief. You can you try, come on, where are you? You just did, cowards. You can never come face to face. You will come from behind. You will come and detonate yourself. You will come and blow bombs on the Yemen people. The Yemen people will never give up. They will be victorious with the power of Allah and they will step on the Ali Saud, and they will step on the Ali Saud's head, the king of Ali Saud. I will stay, will step on his head, inshallah. And the king of the UAE, they will step on his head. Your money cannot be us, your weapons cannot be us, because we have Allah, and Allah is more powerful than all your money and all your weapons. 
because we have Jibrail, we have Mikhail, we have the angels of Allah with us, and we have Iman. The most important thing we have Iman Billah. So bring all your billions of pounds of weapons that you get from the West and the East and bring all your army, but you will not stop the truth because the truth will be victorious and Jesus and Imam al-Mahdi and the family of the Prophet Muhammad will return and destroy the pagans. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. احنا عايشين في بريطانيا يجب ان اقول كل انسان مسلم ان يحترم القوانين الموجوده في بريطانيا ويحترم القانون البريطاني ويعطي صوره ناصحه عن الاسلام حقيقه الاسلام ما ينتشر في كل مكان الا بالاخلاق والادب والعلم لان الاوروبي يباع على اخلاقك ما يباع عن تشلاب Listen and I don't want all these fake people telling me yeah we got good manners we are muslim if you got good manners and you say you're humanitarian then look at the people of Yemen have you seen their pictures have you seen they don't have no water no food if you say you're serious you're humanitarian and you love humanity why are you supporting these scums that are destroying innocent people where is the humanity it's all hypocrisy there's no there's only a little people that's truth the truth Imam Mahdi's army will be 313 just like the battle of Badr, the first battle of Islam, it was only 313 companions. It was David versus Goliath. How much did David? Jalut versus Khalut. He only had 13, 313. The truth is always oppressed. Don't follow the masses like the sheep. Go with the truth. Ask Allah for a guidance. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Akhir shi shi And he's saying about good manners. If you're going to have good manners, of course. But at the same time, be humanitarian. If you're, the, the Prophet said, if there's an oppressed person and he says, oh Muslims, come and help me. And the Muslims do not help him, then they are not Muslims. They are not Muslims. They are Yemen. Wallahi, they don't have nothing, just Iman Billah. And they will fight these pagans, Ali Saud and the UAE till the death. We will be victorious with the power of Allah against all evil, against all oppression. And the Christians, and the good Christians, and the good Muslims, and the good people, even if they they will all join the Imam Mahdi, the good people. And the bad people will join the Dajjal, the one eye, and the Sufyani, the evil people that will kill the people of Ahlul Bayt. Anyone who loves Ahlul Bayt will be slaughtered. Anyone who loves it, whose name is Hassan Hussein Ali, they will be slaughtered. Why? Because these people hate Ahlul Bayt. And for the hate of Ahlul Bayt, they will chop up everyone who's a follower of Ahlul Bayt. But we will stay with the Imam Al Mahdi. Allahumma fast in the appearance of Imam Al Mahdi and make him victorious and make him victorious against all his enemy and destroy all his enemies. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Bless the family. What does that mean? It means oh Allah bless the family of Muhammad and Muhammad and his family. This is why it means Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Law baqiya fil ardu yawman la atala Allah dhalik al yawm. Hassan, see, he's with us. He's with us. This man is a good man. He's from Sudan. He's from Sudan and he defends the Ahlul Bayt. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Muhammad. We on it. We on it. Because he speaks the truth. He's not a sheep. He's not a blind follower. All the people that are free in the world, make the Yemen victorious. Look out. If you're a real Muslim, don't ignore it. You're Muslim. The Iman is in Yemen. This is in your own box. The Muslim poorest Muslim, Muslim uh, Saudi killing Muslims. That's all they do. They can't. They can't even. You know what? They can't even say a word against what's the oppression in Palestine, for example. Oh, this is wrong. They say no, we're not allowed to say this is wrong. But they can drop one billion pounds of chemical bombs on the poorest Arab country. These hypocrites. These munafiqeen. These followers of Shaitan. Shaitan he worshipped Allah for seven thousand years. Imam Ali says, and we do not even know if it's the years of this life or the next life. It could be longer. And then look what he did. These people like Shaitan, they come to you, Muslim, Muslim, blah, 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 but Shaitan. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Muhammad. And, and respect to COE and respect to all these channels that's like COE, who does not cut and paste, who does not cut and copy for their Wahhabi Salafi to look good. COE is a real guy. He's a real guy. May Allah bless him. And you know what? Look at Burma. When the Buddhas were chopping up Muslim women in Burma, no one talks. Saudi UAE didn't say nothing. I was doing it. I was going out to the protest. I was Burma Muslim brothers in Burma. Women were getting gang raped, brother. I was going. Where was the Saudi? They shut them off because they are stuck for Allah. May Allah destroy them and destroy all the pagans that follow the evil and destroy all the good people that follow the truth. And, and, no, and make victorious all the good people that follow the truth. And don't blame me for being upset. Because right now while I'm talking, there's millions of children getting affected now. And the world is silent because politics, they want to get the oil, they don't want to say nothing. They don't want to put the cameras on Yemen. Only a few good people, that's like COE and other people, they're letting the world know the truth. 
humanitarian crisis, the biggest ever in the world. And the world in 2018, hypocrisy, silence. Where is the real people? Only a few. And the few will be victorious with the power of Allah. Allah salli ala Muhammad wa alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Ahna shuf al-yom kulli al-bilad al-Arabiya biha mashakil. Na miqal, they said jinni. They say biha mashakil. We say biha gala. We say biha jaw. We say biha marad. لأن حكامنا ما يهتمون بالشعوب العربية ولذلك تجد الشباب الآن لحد الآن يهاجر إلى بريطانيا يهاجر Anyway, was Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. May Allah bless you and give you long life. From your Come, man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. Listen. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل بيت محمد الطيبين الطاهرين معكم الباحث الإسلامي مسلم الزرجاوي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم إني تارك في المنتقلين ما أنت مسكت ما بهما لا تغلوا بعد أبدا كتاب الله وعترتي أهل بيتي ال 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 النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم أوصى بمحبة أهل البيت وأوصى باتباع أهل البيت وقال النبي محمد صلى الله 